One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tom Dizzo here. I hope you guys had a great weekend and also a great trading week uh, this week. So today's topic is going to be how to locate properly in trading. For the new traders out there, this is very crucial because this is like the majority of the fees are coming from our locates. For me, locates are very key and you want to make a plan before so that when the edge kind of appear, you can have shares to trade, right? If you don't plan it, likely when when you see your edge or, or once you see your pattern or whatever, you won't be be able to, to to kind of trade it because you don't have you you don't have shares, right? But you don't want to be locating just like blindly just because you have to just locate something that you will use. How can you be able to determine that? So uh, this is basically the day one of the stock, right? Our process is shorting uh you know what the strategy is called is the low hanging fruit i know that this is uh, the day one and uh, the stock is pretty much broken now so on the day two the low hanging fruit i would like to see the pops back into those resistance line or like you know aka pivots line or whatever you want to call it so i want to use a whole and half dollar mark okay yeah so astc as you can see i had a plan uh you know on that day couldn't find locates on the stock was so broken now. So I like three, three point five, basically hole in on you know, hole in and half dollar mark. Three, three, uh, three fifty four. So scaling to those line. Definitely not chasing down. No pops, no trade, and just uh, be patient. So that was my plan. Uh, okay, on on the day two. So basically, I wanted to scale into that three line, three fifty and and four. I mean, but you know. Uh, it got only to like uh, this line, which is uh, 325. Okay, so now talking about locate for the low hanging fruit. Okay, I want to see the stock kind of pop first for me to even you know interested in locating the stock. So ideally for me, in order for me to figure it out if there is not you know if there's enough meat for me to even trade this, and I have to determine uh, kind of the scenario here. So. Uh, let's say stock is at this point 2.5 right and I can see you know from this this is the port like you know the best it could go to is like probably two so 50 cents here and let's say the, for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna use everything in like 1,000 shares okay guys every single stock I want to use 1,000 shares so in this case you know if the price of the stock is around let's say you know when uh, because i'm, I'm using a uh, trade zero and i think the cheapest we can get is around like 1.8 cents uh you know so basically it's two cents right so if i'm locating 1000 shares uh i'm down immediately 20 bucks so i'm down already 20 bucks but by looking at this chart like 2.5 to this uh, you know two like i can have like you know uh 50 cents right but like the meat is not left for me down here so if you calculate that i mean you know 50 cents by uh like 1000 shares that's you know 500 bucks right and let's say all you need is to take like you know like 10 cents out of this stock 10 cents on 1000 you know 100 bucks so as long as you can calculate the risk and the reward right you already down 20 bucks because of the locates and by looking at the range of the stock here i mean you know for 10 cents i could get easily you know 100 bucks so which is five times then to locate then i don't see the point why not taking this particular kind of uh, strategy or the setup i don't want to even locate when it's down here low i want to see the pop first okay so as i show you guys earlier um the the lines that i'm interested in which is uh which are uh you know three three point five and uh, four right those are my three lines so i want to see the stock showing me some sort of movement first 
okay, before I even hit the locate. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. So let's say a stock here at 2.5 and it popped to like, you know, uh, and it doesn't do anything right at this point. I don't even, you know, bother locating, even if it's, you know, one cent or like, you know, like whatever price. I don't care because basically there's no meat left for me to even interested in locating this stock. Right. So my starter would be like here at three line and the stock is already popping back up 2.7, 2.8, you know, like 20 cents uh, apart from the first kind of line that I, I, I draw, then I'm going to locate. And, uh, you know, by locating that, it's I need to kind of think, you know, about the risk and the reward. If it's the stock is like two cents. I'm 20 bucks or, you know, or I need this 10 cents from the stock. I can make five times more than that. So always try to calculate. I mean, if the stock is, let's say, if, you know, the locates are 10 cents, right? So basically you down already hundred bucks on the day. And by looking at this, uh, like, you know, can you easily get that 10 cents or not? Right. And by seeing this, I mean, 10 cents, that's pretty easy to get, but 50 cents, that will be something else. But you know, if you get like 10 cents here on the 1000 shares, let's say you're just going to get in here and uh, three and cover it 2.9 or whatever, right? hundred bucks in 10 cents that eat like that's doable, but compared to your locates, you know, your locators, it's already, you know, hundred bucks. So it really doesn't make sense to even locate that much. And for me, if it, the price is so that so expensive, I mean, anything over five cents, I need to kind of think, you know, really carefully about like for, for two cents, you know, for me personally, for two cents, a uh, kind of stock like on 1000 shares, right? All I need is like 10 cents. I can make five times more than the locates. That to me, the risk reward is there. Like, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's worth it for me to even locating some because I know that I can get back that easily and plus more. Okay, so whenever it's five cents, it means like, you know, it's that's 50 bucks here. I need to get at least 20 cents. Like, you know, by looking at this chart, can I get 20 cents easily from the stock or not, right? Just ask yourself, you know, the same questions over and over again. And if it's 10 cents, one of my way of doing it is I try to, you know, really keep it simple. I try to kind of mul multiply it, you know, by four or five, you know, five times. If the locates is like 10 cents, you're locating 1,000 shares, 100 bucks times, you know, five on that, uh, you know, you need to make at least five, 400 bucks or 500 bucks to, you know, to, to make sense, right? And to be able to cover uh, for the fees as well. So it should be one to one kind of uh, profit, uh, like the risk and reward. So let's say you risk 10 cents here to make 10 cents, but it doesn't work out. You got to stop you out. That's too tight, right? That's one kind of paper cut. The second time you try, that's the second one. And now you're already down 220. You know, by the third time, like, uh, you know, after that, it's, it's, it's really hard for you to, to, to even get all that back with the loss if the locates are just so expensive. I mean, so for me, I would like to always think about, uh, you know, if I'm wrong, 10 cents or whatever, uh, you know, twice here, like the, those are the paper cuts, right? Uh, but, you know, if the third time I get it, you know, like 1,000 shares and I'm covering for like 30 or 40 cents here, I could easily make that back with one trade instead of you know let's like like let's say you know imagine it's it's 100 bucks already and you shorting here you by by that point you're already down 200 bucks like 300 bucks instead of uh, you know 200 plus 20 with locate so and i want to see the stock showing me some sort of uh, you know movement first before i even locate and i want i mean if anything is under five cents uh you know i i think that's that's doable Okay, and you don't want to be shorting down here, you know, where where there's no meat left for me for you to even scalp. So at least I, I know that if it pops to this three line, I can have at least like 50 cents here. You know, 1,000 shares that's 500 bucks. I can pay, 
you know, 10 times or 20 times more than my locate. And so that's why I'm, you know, I'm okay with, you know, that five cents. But if, if it's 10 cents, then I would need at least a dollar. So it's all really comes down to kind of a risk reward. And also, are you comfortable with, uh, you know, with that pattern or with that edge, right? Yeah, guys. So I hope it's uh, helpful. And, uh, and uh, you know, I see you guys on next one. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.